Hey, what's up guys? It's your man Foriam again, back with a new guide for Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora. In today's guide, I'm gonna walk you through the meal and memory quest line, for which you're gonna have to help sun up, get your hands on some rare ingredients for cooking, which are pretty tricky to find. First off, crimson mushroom, but especially rare shell fruit are hard to find, and in this guide, you will find them in no time, and get your hands on a pretty nice superior arm guard mod, which is gonna be amazing to get your hands on from the early game. So without further ado, let's get down to business. I quickly want to thank Ubisoft for providing me with an early access key so I was able to prepare a little bit in advance ahead of the release and help you guys of course with this specific questline. For this questline you're gonna visit the High Loom which is basically a small navi village which you can find northeast of home tree of the Aranahe clan. This is where you will find Sanop, a pretty old navi dude which will give you the quest a meal and a memory. So when we track this quest, you can see that we're going to need to check out the hunter's guide to learn where to find these rare ingredients. This is going to make it a little bit easier for you to track different types of fauna and flora. In this case, in the flora tab, of course, you will find crimson mushroom almost all the way to the bottom. If you open up the entry, you can see that this one can be harvested for best quality during the night. In the swamp lowlands, you will also find a rarer crimson mushroom rooms often. So if we open up the map and toggle the biomes, you can see that this is the rainforest biome right here. This is the big leaf biome. Well, next to that, we have the swamp lowlands biome. And this is where I also came across the fallen hunter Navi camp. This area is packed with crimson mushrooms. Be sure to make it nighttime as then of course you will have the highest chance of finding these rare materials. If you want to do that you simply visit the camp right there as there is a little campfire where you can rest and skip time. Make it from daytime to nighttime or if needed you can even make it rain if necessary for certain high quality ingredients. From the high loom camp itself if we place a marker you can see that it's about 1.1 kilo meter away from us. Well, for the shell fruit, you're gonna have to do a pretty long tour. I was lucky to also find this type of plant in the same biome. They are parasitic fruits which grow on a hard shell that needs to be broken in order to reach the juicy core. So you basically have to use your melee attack, punch it open and then carefully pluck it out of the shell, which you do by holding down with your controller or mouse. And it also says the best qualities can be found during rainy days. The fruits can most commonly be found in the rainforest biome. So if we quickly open up the map, well, this right here is rainforest. So also very close to the swamp lowlands biome, which you need to visit for the crimson fruits. Unfortunately though, it's gonna be pretty difficult to find rare shell fruits in this area. And this is going to require you to make a slightly longer trip. As you can see, did a lot of exploration for just this type of fruit. You want to get past the wood sprite arches, follow the river all the way to the southwest, go past the bell sprig, the tarsu sapling, the great oak field lab basically, as well as the blade ring trail, because then if we toggle the biomes, you can see that this is where we will have a thorny wilds biome. If you decide to make this long trip, I definitely recommend you to pick up a couple more resources in the area because it's pretty far away from all the rest. Or maybe unlock another quick travel point not too far from this place so you can revisit it at any time you like. I decided to pick up at least two of these superior quality items, then use a quick travel to get back to the Aranahe clan home, home tree, and then travel a little bit to the northeast back to the high loom. Then, very important, if you visit the cooking station, the first ingredient you want to put in the primary slot is the high quality shell fruit. So if you select that, then your secondary ingredient would be your crimson mushroom. If you go for a fine quality crimson mushroom, you will have a short effect duration, while if you go for a superior one, the duration will be medium. Then you're gonna press and hold cook. And voila, you should have yourself a superior quality mushroom and fruit salad. 
then you also want to eat it to basically sample the dish you just made. Otherwise, you won't be able to continue the quest line, which I find a little bit confusing, but this is required before you can talk to set up to complete the mission and reap the rewards. Voila, there you have it. Now you get your hands on a high quality superior sign-up bracelet arm guard mod. Plus five clan favor from quests and activities, which again is gonna be amazing to pick up as quick as possible because it will help a lot in the long term with all your progression. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. That's everything you need to know to complete this quest line. If you find the video helpful, please do hit that like button. You have no idea how much you support the channel with it. And of course, share your frustrations about this quest line in the comments down below. How long did it take for you to get your hands on certain ingredients? I personally spent over one and a half hours with this quest line. So I hope this one is gonna make your progression a lot faster Anyways, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with future Avatar videos as a lot more is coming. Right now though, it's 4am out. Have an awesome day. I'll check you in the next video or live stream. Peace.